In every newscast today, we are looking at the faces of an epidemic, those impacted by the opioid crisis, which is only getting worse thanks to fentanyl. The mother of one Nashville man who lost his life to addiction a decade ago has watched this ep epidemic intensify. News 2's Tori Gessner shares his story and how his mom found hope and purpose after his death. A lot has changed in the past 10 years, but the pain Cheryl Meadors feels from losing her son is still the same. Your life changes in an instant, in just a second, and everything, every moment going forward is different. Brian Meadors was an honor roll student and a good kid, but once he got to middle school, his mother says he started hanging out with the wrong crowd and things began to change. At 14, Brian went to his first treatment center. He would um, have periods of sobriety. He would um, take medication for uh, some mental health issues. He would do very well. Um, and then the spiral would begin again. His drugs of choice, alcohol and opioids. His battle with both lasted years. You, at, the, at some point in your life, you're just, you're pleased that they make it through another day. You pray that they make it through another day, you, that they make it through another week, that they are able to hang on a bit longer. Brian did hang on for nearly two decades fighting the disease of addiction. On February 20th, 2014, at 33 years old, the disease took his life. Brian overdosed on opioids. It was uh, the nightmare that you don't wake up from. The disease of substance abuse takes all that away. Just, just robs your child of, of everything. Ultimately, robbing Brian of his life and robbing Cheryl of her son. I was suffering physically from that and emotionally, I could hardly get out of bed in the morning. I mean, everything that I had ever dreamed of was, was working in a, the exact opposite direction. So I needed, I just needed some place to go where I could talk and where I could tell my story. Cheryl sought support from the people who knew her pain the best, other parents of those struggling with addiction, and parents of those who lost their lives because of it. Over the past 10 years, that group has only grown. Now a decade without her son, Cheryl has learned to live with the pain, knowing she's not alone, leaning on others for support, while coming to terms with the harsh reality that the epidemic that took Brian keeps getting worse. The disease of substance abuse knows no race, no social status, no economic level. I've worked with and, and met with parents and family members in all walks of life, professional, blue collar, um, lots of money, no money, <laughs> very prominent people in the, in the neighborhood and in the community and people that are not well known in the community. But all of us struggle the same. In Nashville, Tori Gessner, News 2.